Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. I wanted to show you an update on the trees and plants in my yard. See how many blooms are on this crepe myrtle? It's getting so heavy that the um, limbs are falling over. Hopefully it don't break. The color is so pretty. I forgot what kind of tree this was. And you can see that crepe myrtle, how heavy it is. We did tie up some of them on the bottom. You can see the yellow string right here. Wanted to show you my trumpet plants. These trumpet plants are like yellow and pink. They're really pretty. A lot of blooms on here. Oh, and there's a magnolia. You can see how they start. And how pretty they are. And look at this trumpet plant, all the trumpets on here. Wow, it's quite a few on such a tiny plant. It looks like this one I have to kind of stand up straighter. You can see this magnolia. And we'll check out the pink magnolia. can see how nice and green it is. I usually have some blooms on here, but I don't see any. They'll be pink, just like the uh, white magnolia. I gotta get out here and trim these hedges. And you can see the low quats, how big they got. And we'll check on the figs. I tied them up because they were just like laying on the ground. You can see this little loquat starting to grow in this bunch of flowers. They were actually all this small and you can see how big they're getting. You can see these crepe myrtles. See how heavy it gets when there's a lot of flowers on here, but they're very pretty. And another one, same color, pink. These crepe myrtles are so pretty. Wow, look at this clump. How pretty. So I have about eight crepe myrtles in the yard. Six that are like the darker, I call it a darker pink because it's really not red. And two of the, 
almost like a lilac light pink color. You see a little bug right there, a snail. A snail or a slug, I don't know what they're called. And we just got done trimming these hedges. They were really tall. I like them tall for privacy. So I bought about five more to fill a corner there. Five or six. Looks like six. Yeah, six of them. Now I'll show you the backyard. Oh, this is a new fence that we put up. We took down the, um, I guess it was called like the dog ear fence. It was wood and we painted it black. So we put this vinyl here because this I can just wash off and we put it on both sides. And for just this little section of fence here, and this section here was like two grand. So we just did the front. And then we used to have a tarp covering over our cars because you know with the dark color the sun really oxidizes the paint. So we ended up buying this carport. This way here, now I can forget about it. I don't have to worry about replacing tarps. The carport is perfect. And I had the one side to come all the way down to try to keep the rain, the sun off of the vehicles. So in the backyard, this is a tangerine tree. You see one little one right there. I usually have a bunch on them, so I don't know if maybe they'll, you know, start to blossom. Not start to blossom, start to have blossoms pretty soon and maybe I'll see fruit in November. I'm not quite sure. This is my key lime tree. You can see some right here. And this is the uzu tree. It's really tall. You can see all the older uzus in here. The orange ones and the new ones just starting out. So I'll be making more jelly. And I have these three crepe myrtles in the backyard. They really look great. Along with the hydrangeas, the cactus, some more trumpet plants. The cactuses are really getting big. And I had to tie up some of these uh, trumpet plants because they were just leaning over way too far when you mow the lawn. Like you can see this one, when you're mowing the lawn, you kind of hit into it. Somebody in the next yard is mowing. Nice hydrangea back there. Another trumpet. And look at how huge this cactus got. And what I did to start off all these trumpets, all I did was like cut right here and planted it in the ground and that's how all these trees started. I'll show you the fruit trees over here. This is a Meyer lemon. You can see all the lemons on here. The muscovine grapes. See more lemons right there. And this is my plum tree. I did have flowers on here, but no fruit. It's not producing any fruit at all. 
and I cut back on that this is a Florida peach tree it's almost like a hybrid tree because the Florida peach tree is actually attached to this plum tree and the slip is still on here when I purchased this oh god years ago for $20 and it says Santa Rose Plum. And this is the blood orange tree. I have one right here. And that used to be my Macintosh apple tree. It, you see it right here. What had happened is that it died and that's why I replaced it with a citrus tree. And the um, roots that were in the ground, it's still growing. So I left it. Here's another trumpet. These kind of trees, the trumpets, bring hummingbirds. And you can see the uh, carport. And this is a ruby red grapefruit. The original trumpet plant that I had started right here. But our burn pile is right here and it kind of kind of scorched the tree so I cut it down and I replanted them all over the yard plus I gave my son some you can see a nice butterfly right there I don't know if I can sneak up on it this burn pile was like way up to here and you can see what we got left And this is the backyard. I need to get out here and clean up, but I just don't have the time. These are very pretty. I don't know what they're called. And then my elephant ears. They do have some kind of plant. It almost looks like a pine cone. And I guess that's what it... Um, blooms out just one per each one another cactus trumpet plant I got rid of my grapes my wine grapes and I gave them to my son it's just getting too much to maintain the yard so I got rid of them and I got rid of the raspberries way back here so I'll just grow grass I forgot what kind of tree this is. I know it's some kind of flowering tree. But some kind of bug is eating it. Look at these leaves. Wow, even up here. I have no idea what kind of bug it is that's eating these leaves. I just noticed it now. And more trumpet plants. Look at how tall they're getting. They just smell so nice, especially at night. And then my banana plant. It started off with just one. And I'm getting more shoots in the ground. You see two, well, an extra one there. And I think there's a little one starting. So I'll have a total of three. Another trumpet plant. loquat and you see how tall this loquat got I did have some loquats on here but they produced so many I couldn't eat them all and it wasn't enough to actually make jelly I had like three bunches and another crepe myrtle and you can see this tree it looks like it's growing mushrooms on the top there's always a woodpecker on it My bamboo. These were nice and tall, like these. 
So I cut them because I figured, okay, they're dead, but I still left them in the ground and you see new shoots growing, so. Here's a trumpet plant. And I just stuck it in the ground and it'll grow. I just had to bring the uh, rope up a little closer because it was leaning out. And this big bamboo broke off from the top. Can you believe that? So I stuck it in the ground and hopefully I'll get new shoots from it. Here's another piece of the uh, trumpet. And these little crepe myrtles that you see here and right there, we dug them up from the front. I guess when the flowers fall down off the tree and fall on the ground, it grows another crepe myrtle. So we've seen these growing. We dug them up and planted them back here and they're looking good. Another trumpet. And this is where I had my raspberries and I gave them to my son. So I'm just letting the grass grow in. If it don't, then I'll just get some grass and put it in. And here's the back of that fence. And this is what we had up here. So it cost me a lot of money if I were to do all sides of that. So the front is good enough. So this is the backyard. And we've had so much rain lately that the grass is nice and green. Well, thanks for watching the update of all the plants and trees in my yard. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.